Hello Lighthouse, I'm Jamar Francis bringing you the Lighthouse News. April 19th is Dress for Success and it's College Signing Day for Seniors. April 24th is Bully Free Day. And April 26th is Jeans College Day and it's a Community Service Project Day. This week for lunch, Monday we will be having chicken patties on wheat bun, green beans, sliced peaches and barbecue sauce. Tuesday, April 16th is chili cheese nachos, tortilla chips, refried beans, fresh fruit. Wednesday, April 17th is turkey hot dogs. Yes, turkey hot dogs. On wheat bun, glazed carrots, mandarin oranges, ketchup, or mustard. Thursday, April 18th is Salisbury steak, we eat bread, mashed potatoes, and fresh fruit. Friday, April 19th is Bosco pizza sticks with cheese sauce, Italian romaine salad with cheese, fresh fruit. Junior and Senior Prom is Saturday, May 4th at the Madam C.J. Walker Theater. Also, refer a new student, get a free uniform. For next school year here at Lighthouse, our school is, is looking to expand by 200 students. For every new student you refer, you will receive a new uniform voucher good for any color, style, or size by Lighthouse. Hello Lighthouse, I'm Enrique Romero and I'm here with Arturo Tapia. And today we're going to be covering the sports section of your news. In college basketball, the Louisville Cardinals are the new 2013 NCAA champions. They defeated the Michigan Wolverines with a score of 82-76. to 76. In the NBA, the Indiana Pacers appear to be doing pretty good. They currently have a record of 49-29. to 29. In the NBA, the Indiana Pacers seem to be doing pretty good. They currently have a record of 49-29. to 29. They hold the third seed in the conference, and they are first in their division beating the Chicago Bulls. Also for some interesting news in the NCAA, Ryan Kelly will be out for two weeks. This actually is bad for him because he was planning to be to be in the um, in the draft, which would happen June, but he's not going to be able to come back until July. This lessens his chances of him ever being able to come into the NBA. How would you feel if you're you're a junior in college playing for a pretty good team and you're about to go into the you know into the draft to be able to have a chance to go into the NBA, and then all of a sudden you're you're injured and it just you, you can't do it anymore? What, how would you how would you feel? Well, I think. Uh he he's a junior, so he still he still has one more year, but you know after the injury we don't know if he will play as good as he used to. So I would feel pretty bad because um, it would lessen my chances. Yeah, you're right. All right, and that was it for us. Thank you, Lighthouse. Bye. Hello, Lighthouse. I'm Enrique Romero, and I'm here with Mr. Hyman. So, Mr. Hyman, I hear that lately there's been a lot of things going on in ILCS sports-wise. So, can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yes, uh, we have a uh, first year with track with high school. Um, we are were we were invited to the ICST state tournament, which is the Christian League state track tournament, and it is May 11th. It is located in Bloomington. That's where we'll be located at. Um, and we also have Biddy basketball for the kids for grades kindergarten through third grade. It is actually open to the public. Uh, we have flyers. Here, here are the flyers. Um, it starts on April 20th, and also our high school boys were just put placed into a Saturday tournament at United Methodist Baptist Church. Uh, we annually do this every year with those guys over there, so hopefully you guys come out and support us and support the boys' basketball and the bitty basketball and also our first year with track. That was Mr. Hyman, and if you want any information for all the things he talked about, you can come up to his office to get any flyers. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Lighthouse. We in this thing. Bro, you forgot to turn on the TV. Hold on, bro. Got this. Bro. I got this real quick. Yeah. Me and Tina. Me and Tina. Let's channel. There we go. Bro, you don't know what you're doing, bro. Watch this. You, you see this input right here, bro? Watch this. Mm, you ain't ready for all that. Oh,
Hello, Lighthouse. My bad. I'm Dwayne Johnson here with Keyshawn Norse. You know, he had technical difficulties. <laughs> oh, we got Undertaker versus CM Punk. And now Undertaker 21 to know. That's the best record at WrestleMania so Ever. far. Shocking news. We got John Cena beat The Rock. Uh oh. No, that the never should have happened. Then we got Triple H versus Brock. You know, Triple H won. But before, he decided to use dry ice and got second degree burns on himself. What a dummy. I don't know. He should just use the fog. <laughs> Then Alberto won Jack Swagger. Now he got the World Heavyweight Championship belt. Kane and Bryan run the tag team champions. You know, Mark Henry and Rob back the two most powerful, but Mark Henry won that. Of course. Not how big he is. The Miz beat Jack Swagger. Now he got the belt. Now I'm going to be turning over Keyshawn. All right. So we got two new games coming out April 16th. The first one I'm going to talk about is Injustice, which is God Among Us. Uh, this is about... Uh, some Mortal Kombat, you know, DC Universe again, but it's a, it's a different one, it's a newer one. It'll be coming out on the PS3, the Xbox 360, and on the Wii. Then the other game we have is Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Uprising. That's a sequel to the 2010 Black Ops, and this will only be coming out on the Xbox 360, so get it while you can. And then to go back to wrestling, there's some people that are adopted to the Hall of Fame, bro. First off is Donald Trump. You know, Booker T from the old day. He just not getting boy. into the Hall of Fame. Took me a while. And then we got Bruno San Martino all into the Hall, uh, Hall of Fame. So that's all the news that we got for y'all from the music and entertainment segment. Goodbye, Lighthouse. Bye, Lighthouse.
是吧This is Kayla and I'm Mara and we're here with the Indian World News. So on Thursday a couple there were conspiracy theorists and they were convicted for kidnapping because the two children four and six I think they were in the custody of their grandparents and their parents were preparing for the Armageddon so they kidnapped them and took them to Cuba and that's where authorities turned them over to the American FBI and brought them back to America and now they're in the sole custody of their grandparents and their, uh, their parents are on trial for kidnapping. In Houston, Texas, there's a 20-year-old deaf college student from Lone Star Community College, and he went on a stabbing spree, and he stabbed 14 people with an X-Acto knife. Afterward, he told police that he had fantasized about stabbing people to death ever since he was in elementary school, and he is now pending trial. Bye, Lighthouse. Bye, Lighthouse. Hi, I'm Ryan Mansfield and I'll be talking about school violence. So there's been a lot of debate about gun control laws and the Second Amendment and the universal policy. And people have been relating that to school violence because kids are peddling guns illegally off the streets or robbing gun stores or getting the guns from their parents and using them in school shootings and fights. I think we should adopt Singapore's policy of guns because theirs is, the surveillance is really hard to get a gun and so it'd be less likely to be in a school and be used in gunfights. Bye, Lighthouse. 